video will show you how you can use Moodle's choice options with images, sounds or movie files instead of simple text. I want my students to vote for their favourite book out of three options using Moodle's choice activity. So I'm going to set the choice activity up as normal, but instead of using the titles of the books, I want to use images of the three books front covers. However, the problem happens when I scroll down to enter the choice options. There doesn't seem to be any way that I can upload an image or even somehow display the image. All I seem to do is be able to write text. So what do we do? How do we do it? First of all, we need to go to the course files and upload the three images or however many images of the book covers or our pictures that we want. And then we need to get their URL, their online location, their address on the web. Usually you can do this by right clicking. And then I'm going to paste th that address of each of those images, the URL, into a simple text editor. I'm using Notepad. This is just a quick way of keeping a record of each of them. So I right click. It might be properties, it might be copy link location according to your browser. Then I paste them into a simple text editor such as Notepad. Now what? Now we need to add the coding either side of these image URLs to make them display in the Moodle Choice option. And it's essential that you do it exactly as it is here, not missing out any spaces or adding extra spaces and including all of the characters. Otherwise it simply won't work. I think IMG space SRC must stand for image source, which is telling Moodle or the internet where to find the image that it wants to display. And we encase it in a tag to the left and a tag to the right. Then it's these that we're going to copy and paste into the choice options boxes. Make sure that it looks exactly like that. Now I'm going to select and copy the first of those book images and I'm going to start and make my choice option again. This time, instead of typing in text, I'm going to paste in that first coding which should display the first book image. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back to Notepad and then I'm going to select and copy the second image and do exactly the same again. And similarly, I'm going to go back and I'm going to select and copy the third image and paste that into the third option. As long as you have two options, Moodle's Choice will work. Then I'll accept all the other settings, scroll down and save and display and we get three books instead of text in our choice module. So can we do the same for sound or video files? Yes we can, as long as our site admin has enabled multimedia filters so that they'll play in their own players. I've uploaded an mp3 file, I'm going to right click on it and get its URL in the same way as I did for the image and paste it into Notepad for my reference. And I've also uploaded a WMV file and I'm going to right click on that and get that URL, its address on the internet, and paste that in. Now again we have to add the code. It's slightly different for sound files or movie files, but again it's essential that you don't miss any characters out or that you don't leave any spaces or add any extra spaces. Otherwise again it just won't work and it's very frustrating. See I missed a space out there. I think I'm going to accidentally miss out a tag at the end here. So you need to ensure that it looks just like this. Now I'm going to copy and paste the first one, the H, the MP3 file, and go to choice and set up another choice, this time using sound in one of the options and video in another option. In the first choice option then I'm going to paste the MP3 file and in the second choice option I'm going to paste the coding that will display the WMV file, having ensured I've put in the missing tag so that it will work. Now if we scroll down and save and display, this is what we get.